Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tis Hitters. I'm Kurt Conley, the co-founder of Cryptofire. I'm here with Mr. Ned Rev Nissen. How are you today, Rev? Yeah, doing good, Kurt. And yourself? That's good. Yep. Monday morning, back in at it. Uh, lots of things going on and looking at some charts and checking out what we are looking at today. So yeah, I'm happy to be back online. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, It's been a great week for alts, actually. Some of them doing some yeah. good stuff, right? Um, is Bitcoin finally chilling out after all these days and months of just going <laughs> hammer, hammer it's, day after day? And like everyone's like, is this thing ever going to take a chill pill? Is it finally going to have a rest? Is it going into its lair and going to pull its rock over the, over the cave and just have a bit of a nap? Is it, is this, is, could this be happening? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, are we there yet? I'm, I'm like the kid God, in the back. Everyone hates that thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm the kid in the back seat going, are we there yet, Dad? <laughs> and, I think uh, we are. I think we are. We're five minutes. We're five minutes. <laughs> it's it's definitely brewing uh, for sure. And there's a few things that we'll mention today, I guess, in this test hitters as well that we're going to be paying attention to, and um, what we suggest to be paying attention to as well, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, last Sometimes. last week when you asked me the same sort of question, and I said the market's been a bit weird. This time I'm like, I'm excited. So it's it definitely, it's, it's a big win uh, from my perspective from last week. <laughs> I, think we're, I think the shift is definitely here. Um, and for people that have been through these particular cycles before is that everything sits on Bitcoin. So when you see Bitcoin can chill for a, um, it's funny to say if you can see Bitcoin to chill for a week, that seems like an eternity. Um, but also, you know, we've talked before as well, Rev, you know, like these 10%, these big $1,000, $2,000 days, when this starts shrinking and it becomes like these smaller moves, it's sort of like these are the, the signs that we look for. Yeah, it's almost, uh, I'm sure people have heard of my analogy of throwing the ball down the, down the, the stairs. The staircase? Yeah, the, 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 it's <laughs> the momentum, right? The momentum build on the first bounce of that first staircase is crazy. And then we have, and that's where the, you know, Bollinger Bands and stuff like that, play, play, you know, play a part from a chart perspective as well. But yeah, it's almost as if we're at the bottom of the stairs. And that sort of the, I guess what I'm trying to say here is you have a wide gap and then the bounce, you know, it loses its momentum. And then we sit in this range and chill for a little bit before someone else picks it up and throws it again to the top. And then it goes <laughs> to the top and then someone has to put, you know, throw it down from the bottom again. And we're, we're at that sort of point where for BTC, I, I feel anyway, but it does surprise us. It can, you know, last a week, it can last a day, it can last an hour. Um, or it can last, you know, and give us a nice six six months to a year alt, alt season. Would be, would Let's be hope nice. no one picks I'm that not, ball up. I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking. <laughs> if you what, see what, someone pick the ball up, tell them to put it down. Yeah, if you see, if you know anyone that's picking that ball up and throwing it back into the top, I wish the ball would just disappear um, <laughs> yeah. for, for a year or so. And then we say, hey, you can have it back now. Um, <laughs> because olds do deserve it, to be honest, from a SAP perspective. Yeah. You know, some of these things some cool things. But then again, we can't really um, we can't really be too upset. They they threw the ball pretty hard this time. They had a nice big yeah. bounce up there. We're just taking a lot of these alts as well from a dollar perspective, quite high. So yeah, yeah. we'll cover that a bit later as well. Yeah, for sure. So let let's jump into it. So as always, uh, before we ever kick off these hitters, we always go through the disclaimer. The people that are in our groups. The members all understand uh, what we do here on T-Sitters. But, but for those of people that are maybe watching T-Sitters for the first time, the information that we cover in these particular videos is just our perspective on the market. It's not to be considered investment advice. Everything we cover across our um, Facebook group, our Discord, and all our social medias is just what we are looking at and our speculative uh, ideas on what's going on in the market. It's not financial advice, and Rev and I are not financial advisors. Moving on. So the first thing that we do uh, always in our TIS hitters, hitters is we cover what we talked about uh, in the previous week. Uh, unfortunately, on Friday, once again, we did have to delay TIS hitters. Um, some other stuff had, did come up. And also, uh, we, we couldn't really like uh, find too much uh, that we were looking at at, nah. the, at that point in time. We looked, right? So, we, we actually spent an hour plus looking for things. Yeah. And me and Kurt just... I think if we'd, if we'd scroll, maybe if we'd scroll back maybe 48 hours... A little yeah. bit up, we might have found one or yeah. two, but we didn't. We just uh, focused on what had come through in the last 24 hours. In, in your defense, in your defense, I must say, <laughs> he was really Let's upset with me. He was really, he said, <laughs> quantum looks good. And I was like, not that coin. Please, God, anything. And I, was, I was the guy from the office. 
Please, God, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> um, we, did, but we, we did we did glance and took a look at quantum. Um, yeah, we sure it's and you nailed anyway. it. You nailed it. I, I don't know if you took the trade personally, but yeah, that did do well. I mean, it did like forty or fifty percent somewhere in those in those yeah. ranges since you mentioned it. It did. Um, it did. And Tis did catch it, which was great, great to see. But I, I truly believe we've had a slowdown in buy Tis pings as well, and we've had a slowdown yeah. in the sell Tis pings as well. And it's like I think the wave is coming. You know, when the wave is pulling that water out of the beach and then it's, you know, you get smashed by it. I think this is yeah. what's coming for, for alt at the moment. Um, yeah. Look out for it in the next TIS pings and the ones after as well. At least the next three sets of short TIS pings and the next set of medium TIS pings uh, on the buyer section. Pay attention because there could be some yeah. really, really good movers there. We did also have the long-term pings king, um, kick off not long to, uh, I think it was like a week or two ago as well, right? So. Yeah. Um, I think there's a couple of people in the group that had mentioned that. But as always, with the TIS notifications, um, they're not hard and, and uh, fast uh, rules. So when a, a, a buy comes in on a short term or a medium term, it doesn't actually indicate buy that day. TIS no. is a notification system to um, notify you of potential trades that are coming in. Hey, come have a look at me. Check out my volume. Check out, run some TA on it. It's more of a notification system versus um, a system that's telling you buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here. Yeah. I have seen some people talking about it recently as well. So we always want to reiterate how that TIS works. Rev, did you want yeah. to add anything to that? Uh, yeah, I just want to, you know, as well mention and, and get people to understand all the trades that we catch on that, all the trades that we catch on TIS hitters are from TIS and <laughs> nothing else. Yeah. No, no, nothing else is paying, you know, giving us uh, the attention to go look elsewhere. It's all coming from TIS, so we go through it and analyze it ourselves. And you get this at least once a week. We've done a TIS hitters, um, you yeah. know, but we try and do it twice a week. And if alt season comes, we might do it three times a week. Whoa, so steady on. I'm going to clear my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some live streams. Maybe we do some late night live streaming. You know no, who's so going to be doing the late night, late night live streams. <laughs> That's why you mentioned it. Yeah. I'll, I'll set it up, but I probably won't be there. <laughs> It'll be the 3 a.m. Melbourne time live stream. Oh, God. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into this. So uh, last week on the 20th, um, we talked about B&B. &B. Um, the entry was 128,900 sats. Um, the current sat value is down um, to 126,000, about a 1.6% 1. 1. Um, difference from the entry. The high, it nearly tapped out 2%. There was a lot of fundamentals that played into this particular trade yeah. as well. So they were doing a token burn. Everyone knew about the token burn. In the past, the token burns have actually done all right. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't go diving into all this information. I'm too busy doing some stuff with the platform. But the token burn happened. But at the same time, there was a token unlock of maybe 15 or 16 million tokens yeah. as well. So I think that did definitely cause a, a, a problem in some of the price action there and some of the trading in there. But I do also believe that the unlock happened and the tokens were issued to the team that were locked up again or something i don't know the exact details of it I'm but not it was meant sure. to be a token yeah there was a token burn and an unlock at the same time so yeah. i'm not sure what happened there but um it, it was looking like a good trade but uh yeah with that trade obviously um hasn't performed as well as we thought it should have yeah you I, I mean that ref? i i did i did uh catch an, an exit on i had a long in place from $33 I cancelled like totally got it out at $44.80 and then got back in at $44.40 and I got it at like $47.30 or $47.40 pretty much the high of that BNB move on a dollar perspective mm -hmm. and I, I did mention it in, t uh, in trade chat as well so yeah we um, talked about it and then it, it just yeah it just tumbled I don't I didn't even pay attention to the, the fundamentals I just had a take profit point there um, and, it, and it did close out, so that was awesome. But uh, if anyone followed me, awesome. Um, if some of you didn't, you know, it's, it's okay as well. Yeah, so that's all we had on that one. Usually, uh, for those that are watching for the first time, we might have two or three on there, or we might recap on some other stuff. Um, we could have talked about um, one of our secret tokens today, um, but it's not the day for uh, capturing that sort of stuff. Even though, actually, one of our ones that we had talked about is doing quite well over the last uh, couple of days. So yeah, um, yeah keep, keep an eye out for those in the future as well. Oh, well, I mean, you can mention it really quickly before we move on to the TIS hitters. XBS did amazing. And considering that they, they had the liquidity issue from an internal yeah, person who'd been there for a while, there was a write-up on it as well. And just 
just showing what the team did in and came and put their own liquidity on the line. Yeah, they handled it so well. Honestly, yeah, it really well. What a machine of a team. That's what you want in a team at the end of the day. The ones that really come out and, and smash it out and yeah, it just they did a great yeah. job. And look at it now. <laughs> right. And you know what's interesting, Rev, is when we talked about this for the very first time, it was T Sitters episode eleven, if memory serves me right. And I remember that because someone mentioned just yesterday or the day before. Yeah. The team, when they minted the tokens, didn't actually allocate themselves some tokens from memory. So, like, the way that they handled the uh, liquidity issue uh, the other day is just, like, when you combine it with everything else, it's just incredible. But anyway, they're just baller. Uh, XPS, <laughs> XPS has done really well uh, this week, so keep an eye on yeah. that one as well. But yeah. anyway, we're here for this week's TIS Hits. Let's uh, jump into the first one that we're going to cover. Yeah. So I was going to cover someone else, but I, I'll, I'll just move on. Oh really? Did you? <laughs> I'll just move. I'll just move on. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Are you no. Sure you want to add your two stats in. <laughs> you, Unify. Just look at uh, at Unify daily chart. You'll you'll have fun. Oh, it's looking so sexy. Yeah. Just brilliant. just keep an eye on it. it it's <laughs> actually looking. It's looking good. Yeah. There's a yeah, bullish really hammer good. the day before, and today's daily is forming pretty well as well. So sitting above uh, nice. a, a decent MA as well. So just keeping it. Uh, keep, you know, pay attention to it. Let's go. Thanks for your two set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so um, today's uh, TIS hits uh, OAX is one that we're looking at in the short terms. Currently sitting at five hundred ninety-five on the CMC ranking, uh, thirteen and a half cents in USD value, four hundred six cents. So the um, the trade setup it closed out the daily candle above the hundred day MA. Yeah, but it's sitting above the 100 day on the alley as well. So it's bounced off this one already, and the MACD is above the zero line. Rev's going to go a little bit more um, on the MACD and the zero line. And just that's something that as well I just want to put in here is that we're going to be talking about that. All, we're designing the uh, trading course, and a lot of um, content around the MACD and the zero line is going to be covered in that. So stay tuned for that sort of stuff. But it's important um, to keep an eye on the um, MACD and what the zero line is doing. 24-hour uh, trading volume on this particular one is 10 BTC, and we have had a buy notification come in at 397 sats. Let's pull up a chart, Mr. Let's Nissen. do it. All right, let's bring it on. So we got uh, OAX here, and we can see the data on it everything across the board. Volume did fall off. It was at about 20, uh, 20 BTC volume. I think it even hit 25 and it's fallen off quite drastically. So hopefully it does start to gain some sort of volume, although price has gone up since. Now there's a very interesting fact about this one. It's total supplies from, from Remory. I think it was like 100 mil. Let's, let's check it out. So 100 mil total supply, there it is. And circulating supplies at 56 million tokens, which isn't much when we look no. in this space. We're talking the XVSs and the INJ. And we see where mm. INJ is sitting from a SAT perspective. This is sitting at what, 400 and, well, 406 sats, but now it's at 415. INJ has very similar, I think it's either INJ or XVS has very similar supply. Yeah. It just depends on yeah. what they do here and what the actual project is, which we, we don't cover at all because we, we're just looking at the, at the technicals, right? If there is a fundamental, mm -hmm. we'll pull it up. And, and you look at the price right now at 13 cents and look at the all-time high price at $2.34. That's a big move. And we're talking January 7, 2018. So, yeah. and this is where people really need to pay attention to alts, especially when Bitcoin chills out because they can really smash out and, and do some amazing things. Um, <laughs> they really can. It's just, it, it is, it's face melting stuff. You don't see it in any other sector. Welcome to face melting season. Yay! Um, <laughs> let's check out the daily, as we've mentioned here first, just so we can keep in line with TIS hitters. So you can see, close that daily candle above 100 day MA because we want people to learn these things, right? That yellow line is the 100 day MA there. And you can see the, um, I think it's this is a seven, the quicker MA is looking to cross as well. And, you know, these candles don't look good because it gives us, you know, sell exhaustion, sorry, buy exhaustion and more sellers coming in here with these little weeks up here, these pivots. But we've crossed that zero line on the MACD and it looks really cool. So, you know, this has potential to go for it. Um, sitting above the 100 day MA on the hourly as well, which I'll, I'll bring up in a second. And it has also crossed the um, zero line on the MACD as well on the hourly. So you can see that it's, that's a zero line. And this is what I mean by the zero line. Let me, let me show you there. That's the zero line between the histogram going down and up, right? It's really powerful in crypto. In any other sector, you talk Forex, you talk uh, stocks, it's not as powerful. In crypto, specifically alts, 
the zero line is powerful when it comes to the Bitcoin pair. It just shows momentum is there. Um, when we turn, when we cross bullish or bearish, it doesn't really show it. It's when we cross that zero line, we have the big pushes, and you can go back and, and check them out throughout throughout the uh, d the chart. So let's look at the hourly as well. We can see above the 100 day AMA as well on the, on the hourly, and we're also above the zero line. You can see we crossed. He, he's a perfect example. This is the first. This is the confirmation. The confirmation of that candle crossing above the zero line on the MACD, and you can see Kurt yourself just there what it does to to price action, right? You really get a shake, it like a big mover up and down, or either way, you know, there, there's big action happening. And we we tried, well, they attempted to pull it back down, but it's just reversed back up, and it's still sitting sitting above the zero line, which is really cool to see. So, not really expecting too much as we ranked this a five out of ten, but there's a potential there for uh, a move on it. That's pretty much it cool. on OAX. Yep. Uh, and the other one that we're talking about today, this is we're only going to cover uh, two potential trades today. So it's STPT. So currently sitting on CMC ranking around 434, uh, sitting very low in the dollar value around that two cent mark, 68 sats. The trade setup for this particular one. So what we want to do here is you want to pay attention to the weekly chart. Um, may meet some resistance. Uh, the last broke out that resistance around that 100 sat um, area, but now is acting as support. And the daily MACD is also looking to cross that zero line. Trading 24 hour period is 72 Bitcoin, uh, one buy notification. This one's got a 7 out of 10 rating, and we'll pull up the charts and uh, Rev can add some more info onto that one. Yeah, so I'll bring that up as well. Uh, let's look at the data here 268% in volume change in the last 24 hours. Pretty big, considering it has a 70 volume already as it is now. I mean, that does add to it. So it didn't have much in the last 24 hours, um, but the bias change as well is sort of showing that. And price change in the last 24 hours is actually up 4.7%. Tokenomics of this is not the greatest, I believe. Yeah, you can see that circulating supply, 916 mil, and the total supply at 1.94 uh, billion. Uh, All-time high price of 9 cents, and the current price is 2.2. The all-time high price happened in June 28, 2019. So maybe it just doesn't have charts back then because i don't actually remember stpt and i know you mentioned as well you've never heard of it and what they do no so, yeah <laughs> there, there is a lot of different stuff happening uh in the space let's check out this price of our own correlation chart here on cryptostat.org and just see uh, nothing really special to be honest let's go ahead and check out that chart and see what we're looking at we've given this a seven out of ten it just feels like a stronger trade than oax um but i'm not too sure I'm, I'm, we're, we're a bit in between, I, even when yeah, we're like, rating them. Oh, I, I, I like OAX a bit better, but there's something, there's something here. Yeah, definitely. So, and, and what we want to show here is we got paying attention to the weekly chart. So let's bring that up. May meet some resistance at the last resistance of a hundred, which is these double tweets the top, uh, bottoms here. You can see it on, on the weekly. Now these are weekly charts. So they held a lot of weight on what they're doing. You can see we didn't have a MACD on the weekly chart and that MACD is having a squeeze in here, right? It's it's coming in and, and getting ready to, to sort of go for a push here. Now, the moment we turn bullish here and they cross and the bullish, the, the quicker MACD line is on top, we might actually look for a push up and test that 100, which which seemed to be like a really, you know, powerful um, uh, support. And you can see where it broke here and now it's flipped a resistance, it really has. Even these weeks here, tried to go for it, came back down on the weekly. And then once again, this one here confirmed to us that that was now the new resistance. And we, we go through this as well on the um, trading module when we explain how that works and why it works. So you can see it's had a big, big uh, volume bar here, which held considering this one didn't. You can see it pushed out similar volume bar there. Um, so yeah, we're really paying attention to that MACD crossing as well. Um, and then going for the zero line. If we look on the daily, I don't think there was much on the daily. I didn't note down anything besides keep, pay attention to that 100 day MA. <clears throat> and there's that, that MACD crossing the, 100, uh, the zero line as well on top and crossing the zero line. And we're looking to, to, to push that um, 100 day MA at 80, 80 or so sats, 83, 82 sats at the moment. Six. So it's a very low sat value rate, um, a coin at the yeah. moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, we can see this is the last sort of move where it, it, it struggled to go above the zero line. And I, I, I can almost like guarantee that's why it didn't push to that 100 AMA. Now it's even closer 
and we're on top of the zero line. So let's see what, what, what happens with this. But yeah, it does look good as a chart, but that 100 you know, resistance is, is so powerful at the moment. Even though we're talking from 15th of May when it was uh, in 2020, when it was the support, and then it flipped to the friggin' uh, It seems like such a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> and now it's flipped to, to resistance. It's like, oh man, like how can this over here a year ago yeah. play such a big chart in this chart, try to break out here? But it, it will, yeah, it really will, because people have bought bought there. They probably went through this whole thing, going, "I'm a genius, never sold, just come <laughs> back down, and then under." And now they're like, "I'm just going to get out when it gets back to 100 sats," because Bitcoin's gone. 100 sats now is a thousand plus percent. Let me let me let me say that again. In March, <laughs> oh, well, this is May, but in March last year versus now, the sat value has done a thousand percent on dollar value per sat. Love it. So. People remember that's what's really going to be playing a part there. Just, just putting it out there. But yeah, that's pretty much it on STP2. Okay, so that's the two TIS hit trades that we uh, are talking about today. Uh, there's a couple of things that we want to cover in this particular video, and uh, one is Cryptify for Sia. There's a lot of messages that Rev and I get um, every week, and a lot of them about um, which bot is available. So just to clarify that as well. Um, the long short bot is not available. We actually um, only took a certain amount of people on that particular one. It hasn't performed uh, too well. So we don't let um, anyone access that particular one. But the spot uh, bot has been doing great. It's been catching some really good entries, um, preserving capital. Um, and I'll let Rev do a bit of an overview of it. But I just wanted to clarify if there is two bots, but only one's accessible. And if you want to access it, please go down to the registered channel and you can see all the details in there. Yeah, so really what, you know, what you're saying about the bot and, and doing okay as well, but it's not only the, the fact that it's doing okay. And I know, Kurt, you know, you probably haven't spent as much time uh, with foresee and understanding what happens when it comes to the numbers sort of things because you, you've let me take care of that. Um, yeah. And I know Rand has as well. So um what it is is the cryptify foresee the spot bot why it's open to more people is because it doesn't require like liquidity isn't really an, an issue here whereas mm -hmm. even though it is on futures but you're not pushing a long and you're not pushing a short and we find that we have more liquidity issues when you're going short um it's always it's been a big factor in in any market at the, um, if you look across the board for some reason that is just how it is Whereas Cryptify for Sia, this is a pretty much a long only, considered to be a spot bot, but it's where we've utilized it the way we could, um, utilizing Stacked Invest. And yeah, so that's why we've allowed more people in there as well. Not that the fact that it's just not, the other one hasn't performed as well. It's, it, no, this is another thing to throw on top of it as well. But I mean- it's, it's a good thing to clarify, Rev. And just sorry, just to interrupt you there. Yeah. We did talk a lot about the liquidity when people were signing up. And we actually said to the entire community, which would you prefer, the spot bot or the margin trading bot? And everyone wanted the margin trading bot. The, the futures one, like, the long short one, yeah. Yeah, we we're like, sorry, uh, the futures one. Um, we were like, are you guys sure you want to go down the futures one with the long short? Everyone's like, yes, 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 that's the one we want. So that's the one we went with. But we also did talk a lot about liquidity issues when um, when they come on board. And that's why we, we went into a lot of detail with the members, like what are you yeah. looking at from your training account and blah, blah, blah. But yes, just to just to um, yeah. echo what you're talking about there. Really. Yeah, and it's, you know, and long short has the higher risk. So a lot of people, what we, did, we did a Google Sheet form and everyone was <laughs> like, long short, yeah, I, I remember you, was off the charts. You're like, like why are we even long doing long. this? Why are we even choosing which one to go with? This is what the people yeah. want. Give them what they want. They understand it's high yeah. risk. And, it, and yeah, I mean, and that's why we went that route. And that's why, um, you know, we had the long short first and then the spot bot. So a cool thing here to pay attention to here, <clears throat> I might actually bring it up on a, a live screen rather than a, a screenshot. This is on Stacked Invest. And this is pretty much the first trade people took on the bot. And you can see here, the entry was $333.80. Sorry, Kurt, I had to do it. And that was September 9th, <laughs> 2020. Um, the percentage was just above 20% as an ROI for it since it had started in, uh, I think it was July, late July. Started forward testing on Stacked Invest. And you can see 20% and right now we're sitting 127% with a win rate of 75%. This is a really cool thing if you unclick that and how much it changes and how much fees play a part in trading. Just so you guys know, 141% to 127% just in fees. But what, what, it's big money and that's why people, some people just go, who cares about the fees? 
Trust me, you want to care about them, especially when it becomes bigger dollars and you're consistently yeah. trading, they add up. Now, what I want to want people to pay attention to here is if you started this on the day on day one, September 9th, when you started trading, your dollar value return should be very close or just above or just under 100% ROI on your money. Anything, in, you know, and we're talking September to now. That's it's almost <coughs> unheard of from a just let it go. Let it yeah. do its thing. Now, there's a lot of bots on Stacked Invest that utilize what we call leverage. You throw the leverage up on this and you can see the numbers changing. 724% on the free X. I'm, we are not recommending recommending this. Yeah. Stick yeah, to the 1X. You, you <laughs> yeah, stick to the 1X and, and go for the long haul. You know, play the long, long way around and the safe way at 1X. But we just want to show people this, like... 1100% and here perfect example right 4x 4x we were at 1200% one bad trade and we went down to 400% ROI and this is what, what, is 4X, what, what, what does 4x rhyme with 4x rhymes with wrecked <laughs> get wrecked right <laughs> so just just don't do it and I, I know one trade two trade three trade and you're back up to 1200% but let's be honest guys you cannot handle that not many people can handle a 1200 to 400% 800% of your money gone and yeah. eight, you know, it's just it's mind-boggling so please stick to the 1x don't fall and don't just keep an eye out for when you're looking at other bots for sure they're all open there for other people and you know that's why we're utilizing stack invest to make it easier for you but just pay attention to how much equity they're using and what leverage they're running because the higher the leverage the more risk it is and you know some of these things have been running there for two years a year and a half and you know, I, I I'm really look forward to seeing Crypto Five Four C uh, spot bot up there in in the yeah. top five. Top it's getting there. It's, de it's definitely climbing. And another thing that I, I wanted to uh, mention here, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later when I get some time to record something. But you know, everyone looks for different tools. You know, some people use Tier, some people use uh, Want to Be Road to One Million, some people are day trading. Well, Sia bot, spot bot has its purpose, and there's people that are out there that are busy day lives and they just want to get some capital into the game and they want to see how things work and progress. There's other people that they just love bots, love the algos. Um, Al Bandy's our, our specialist uh, in, our, in, in our mod that loves the algos. Um, shout out to him, very smart guy. But what I'm trying to say is let it do its thing. You know, like this is not, it's not, um, the spot bot's not for you to then just start going and flipping and changing it to 10X and 5X and 4X and that. You know, like try and just let it do its thing. And over time, um, your capital will increase. And that is the purpose of this particular yeah. um, service or Cryptified tool that we provide for you guys. Yeah. And the SpotBot, just to mention, we have 120 people, 125 people on it. And I think right now we're starting, especially with people building up their accounts, right? Their accounts are 100% up. Um, and their the liquidity is uh, is taken 100% more now off the books whenever a trade comes through. Now we ask for it over multiple exchanges, but because I, I got a really interesting message today from one of our um, our members, and he said, "Hey Rev, like pretty much really happy. You know, I've been in the bot, spot bot since the beginning and loving its performance. At the time, I was not able to put the full K, but uh, two two, and still seeing lovely returns. Having made some profit on on some other alts, I was wondering if it'd be okay to you know to up my stake in the bot." And I just said to him, and I reminded him, I said, hey, man, congrats, you know, he had a little baby. So awesome. Congrats on, on, on the video as well. Um, congratulations. Uh, and, he, you know, I said to him, just remember, I'm more than happy for you to add that little bit of liquidity that you mentioned. It's not much. He's just, he just wants to add. But, and I appreciate him coming to us. And he, I also mentioned, though, now that you put more money in, if we get a losing trade, you can lose more money. But if we get a winning trade, your, your return is going to be bigger at the end of the day. Now, I think really realistically, ourselves as a team, Kurt, we need to go, okay, at 200 people or 250 people, we're pushing the limit here. And yeah, we probably will have to cap it. Yeah, because we'll it's open for anyone at the moment. Anyone can jump on, even people that aren't part of Cryptify. So, you know, if you're looking to get onto the bot, just get into, you know, one of the channels, bot trading channel, you can probably hit up anyone. And I know, you know, probably about 20 people have joined up in the last week or so. So... It's really cool to see, but also just remember, it's a tool, you know, uh, to have in your toolbox. It might do well, it may not. No one can tell the future, but we look forward to it. Continue on uh, with its trend and, yeah, smash out this year for us. 
Yes, for sure. For sure. Okay, so that's uh, the full Airbot. Thanks for um, just giving that a bit of a recap. There's just one thing that we want to talk about here as well um, before we wrap up this video. We've pushed a half an hour. We don't like to hit that 30 we minute don't. mark. But anyway. This is twice in a row, Kurt. What's going on? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, <laughs> Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of always a lot of discussion of like when you're talking about dollar value and sat value and I know that sometimes I make posts and comment in the community and I'm like you know uh, XVS is gone from two dollars and it's now at nine dollars and people are like yeah but what has it done sat value there's a time and a place to be trading in USD and there's a time and a place to be trading in sat values and this is part of the shift when we're shifting through these different times. Um, and, and then sometimes when you're coming into an alt market rally or an alt season, you know, you shift from trading a USD dollar value and now is when you want to be stacking sats. And Rev, you can elaborate on this a little bit more if you like, but I just wanted to make sure that people understand that, that we're not always talking dollar value and sometimes we're talking in sat value and there's different reasons why and there's different times to do this as well. Yeah, there's just different concepts. Like you look at Road to 1 million, we don't care what the sat value is, we care about what the dollar value is, right? So that's, that's just kind of showing what you were just trying to say. We, we look at them for different reasons and for different outcomes at the end of the day, right? So the, the hot tip really here is because Bitcoin's consolidating, just sitting there. Now's not the time to be looking at the dollar value of anything. And, and the big one I'm talking about here is Ethereum. Don't worry about its dollar value chart anymore. Now, as long as Bitcoin sits like this and idle and consolidated, moving in, you know, two, three percent up and down, four, even five percent, that's okay. Pay attention to Ethereum's BTC chart from now on. Until Bitcoin decides to make a big move, then we move back on to the dollar value of like the Ethereum Dash and most alts, right? The alts, we want to be pay attention to their Bitcoin pairs at the moment and not their dollar pairs at the moment. But yeah, just, just you know, I just really wanted to, to bring that up and, and put that out there because not many people speak about these things. Yeah, and also there's always this confusion in the in the in the community when something is is said, you know, uh, we should be measuring the Bitcoin pair, we should be measuring the USD dollar pair. It's not always the case. And also remember, people are trading in different pairs. Some people might not be trading in Bitcoin value. Some people might not be trading in USD value. And also, people have different um, goals. Some people don't want to stack Bitcoin at this point in time. They want to stack USD for some reason. So just always keep these in uh, in mind. So, yeah, that's basically the hot tip for this week. And that is us wrapping up TIS Hitters 21. Can't believe we're at 21 episodes already. If you haven't checked out any of the earlier videos, please head over to our YouTube channel. If you are looking to um, sign up with Join Cryptify and uh, get into the members area, please uh, check out the link below and that'll take you guys over there. Look forward to catching up with you guys next Friday yep. and uh, shooting the next one. <laughs> Sounds good, Kurt. Thanks for your time, mate. And I'll catch you soon, bro. Bye, mate. See, See you. Bye.